In this particular segment, I just want to talk about the fascia, right? This is the lower fascia, and the upper is the valence slash fascia, okay? Now, I haven't installed the top now. It's ready to go, so I'm going to probably going to add a 7-inch piece here, like I mentioned earlier, okay, to block the light there so that it just lights up the shadow box, right? Now, I just want to talk about this lower fascia for a second here. Like, I don't know if all of you have viewed Glover Road, but you know the foreground was this flat, nice, clean line because of the road. Like, there's no undulation cut into the fascia. I'm really not a fan of that, and I'll tell you why. Because it, like, I get the cookie cutter approach, the slice out of life, you know, when you cut like a section out, you know, like a grid or something, and it, like, it makes sense uh you know to do that kind of thing on a smaller diorama but for something like this right where you know you really want the curve and you want the line to flow nicely with the whole layout okay uh you won't really notice that kind of thing uh to be honest uh like you just don't um so like in order to get a clean acceptable line like this is either have a road in the foreground of your shelf layout or a river Right, and then I'll show you how I treat the transition in a second. So just to be, uh, just to refresh, so this is uh, two and three eighths, that's it. And somebody mentioned about, you know, uh, why don't you just rise the track level of uh, B higher to meet the track level, which is right here now, to A. Well, it's because I want to keep this line consistent. This horizontal line, I want to keep consistent through the whole shelf layout right and also i want to incorporate the window when i pull this venetian up there's a nice stained glass window down here and it like you still get to enjoy the window see when you come into the room because of the height of this all right so that's very important and it's really you know like integral to the framing of the shadow box okay so you can see right here that we're fairly level right until the end of the river. Right here, okay, where the module comes apart here. See the line? So when it separates, there'll just be a small seam right here. But this seam runs all the way through these strombacks, all the way through to the back. Okay, so this is pretty much the final segment of the joinery on module A to B, which would be the same as B to C and so on and so on and so on right so why would I take you all this way I know it's boring for some but and then not show you the final okay so you can see I just added these two strong backs right Th this wax paper see all the way through the whole seam so there's one two three and then four bolts holding this long like almost four foot seam here okay it's all been built up so it's nice and clean and then right here, uh, remember I talked about the key of the tongue. This has just got some wood filler in it, but that's it. So if I pull those four bolts, then this just cracks, but it runs right here, see? Now I'm going to put a piece of foam in here because I want to finish the profile down to the riverbank here. It's going to be all foam along the edge so I can sculpt it and shape it, right? It's a lot easier than shaping plywood, isn't it? So I need to get this... Like, I want to drop this piece in because this is exactly the height of this, like this foam. So, I want to cut a piece to fit in here and to sit on here, right? So, I've got this already. 
like this profile. And then I'm going to run the uh, the final fascia over the front of this, right, with the profile kind of thing. So how do I get this pattern onto here just to cut it out? I just use an Olfa knife. This is a new one, but I have my original Olfa knife, one inch, and a and a uh, heat curved fillet knife. That's all I use for carving this. And I carved thousands of board feet of it, so I don't use a hot wire. I only used a hot wire once, one time for a big wing on an aircraft, but that's it. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I just take some paper and I'm just going to do a simple pencil rub, right? Okay, just like this. See the dotted line there? Okay. So I lay this on there like that. And there's my pattern. So I just knife like a saw all the way through and it gives a fairly clean cut like that. Okay. Cut like that all the way through down to here. And then the foam's cut that merges together. And my if I take the module apart, it's just a matter of just a thin skin of glue and scenery on top. Okay, and, there's, and then she's done. Alrighty. There's some holes drilled there for your bus wire to go through. But this whole piece now is super solid. And uh, the reason why I built it this way is because I've done it this way before. And it'll move if you don't. Right. And if you build it like this and it settles in, it's going to be a nice tight seam. And then what I'll do is, is where the track meets here, I'll just scarf the road bed. Like a 45, so when I pull it apart, it just cut through the track where I can have two insulators there, and then a plug with the bus wire, and it just un and you just unplug the bus wire underneath, and when you pull the bolts and pull the module apart, uh, the track just separates at the seam on the edge of the 45. I'll just show you a quick drawing of what I mean by that. Okay, so that's all done and that feels good. Now as far as the upper goes, it doesn't really matter because the upper is just the valance and it comes apart in the same way, but there's no track or anything. There's just a cable here, you know, which can be unhooked from the lighting anyway. All right. And then there'll be a valance here too, like blocking light, just, just pinned on. Uh, sorry about earlier pins, I mean 18 gauge brads. Okay, 18 gauge brad nails with an... Uh, pneumatic uh, brad nailer okay so see how i'm going to transition now the river's going to end right here and then it's going to go up to track level like to here the rest of the layout's going to be this high and over to where the shops are i'll just call it the shops for now in the corner there'll probably be a locomotive shops over there like the, just like the prototype which is important to me because I like to model locomotives. And I have some on the back burner anyway that need to be done. But notice here the rise in terrain here, okay? Now I could cut profiles into this, you know, make it look like, you know, the undulation, you know, slice of life. But I'm not going to go with that. Uh, I really don't want that, the, you know, this, this, you know, beautiful line, like when you come into the room, you know, just, it just, like when you see it from the doorway. It just has this nice line and then the river comes into this point and then the curve 
flow continues, right? So where I'll build in the undulation of terrain will be in the actual foam. Like this is going to be packed out with uh, blue foam, right? And then this will be sliced and I can transition into some undulation because this is going to be all sort of trees planted in here, right? And I love to plant trees like pointed dowel type or whatever, just plunge them into the foam so they can be moved around and so on. Right, so that's going to be just filled with a foam block and the track, you know, will be set back a ways. I don't want any track close to the foreground if I can help it. You know, I want at least, you know, five inches or so. I don't like running track close to the fascia. It doesn't look right in my opinion. So you can see the line and so uh, this was just cut with a knife, right, a tape. I just masking tape this and then I took my little hand plane and I just planed it nice and level and then a board sand. Okay, so I think that's a nice transition into B. And then we'll see what happens with C. If C becomes a higher elevation with more forest, like more trees over here, I might run the uh, fascia here, maybe even a little bit higher with a little bit of undulation. Do you know what I mean? Just very subtle, gradual transition from a higher point there as we go down simulate going down an elevation to the waterfront okay